Okay, first, this is not the pizza that I had in mind. Um, I wanted to do a homemade pizza because I know someone requested my version. And to me, this is like not homemade. I guess it's semi-homemade. But yeah, I'll be doing an updated one showing how I make the dough and everything from scratch because that's how I prefer to do it. But I don't always do the shopping, like I said. So I'll just work with what I have. So I have two um, gourmet crust. It just says it bakes in eight minutes. So I'm not mad at that. I have parsley flakes, oregano. Let me try to, okay. Parsley flakes, oregano, garlic powder, pepperoni, Pineapple chunks, um, some kind of pasta sauce, and two bags of mozzarella cheese. Also, what's missing is butter because I'm actually going to do a garlic butter, and I've already shown that on another video. I forgot the name of the video, but I'll add a link, so I'm not going to show that. But yeah, I'm going to um, put that on at the end. So I guess I'll just get started it should be pretty quick and easy because I mean like I said it's really basically just throwing a bunch of toppings on the crust and that's it all right so um I'll be back so I'm already added like a half cup of sauce and then I'm going to add another half cup and I kind of know how much to add because I used to work at a pizza place so I know um and then I'm going to just add a little bit of garlic powder. It looks like a lot, but it's really not. And then I'll add a little bit of oregano. Is this one? Oh, okay. Oh, oh well. Well, a lot. And, uh -oh. okay. And a little bit of um, Italian seed. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Italian seasoning. All right. <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm just gonna mix all of this up and just like heat it up. And I feel it was necessary for me. To add the extra ingredients because um, those sauces do need some doctoring up. So meanwhile, um, while I'm heating this up, I've already preheated the oven to 450 degrees. I mean, like I said, it's just it's really easy. Basically, it's just a doctored up pizza, doctored up sauce. And um, I will be uploading my homemade version from scratch which is how I like to do it. But as I mentioned before, I don't always do the shopping. So, um, you know. So I'm just gonna let this heat up and then I'll be back. So now that my sauce is nice and bubbly, I turned the heat off and I'm gonna start with the crust and top. So I placed my pizza crust on a pizza pan. As for the other one, I will have to place that on a cookie sheet because I only have one pizza pan. So I'll definitely have to keep in mind that I need to buy another one. So anyway. So I'm first going to start by, um, I have my, I'm not talking to you. I have my can of pineapples. I'm going to start by straining um, my pineapple, straining the juice out. So if you'll give me a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna make one with pepperoni and one with pineapples and pepperoni. Um, so I'm first going to start by taking some of that sauce. And I'm gonna add a half cup of sauce. And then I'm going to add a half cup of sauce. 
and the other one as well. Just using the remaining sauce out of the pan. So. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to, yeah, I said I'll do the pepperoni one first. <clears throat> so I'll just add it. So when I do um, do my homemade one with the dough or whatever, this is pretty much how I would how I would do it. But I would make my own dough and I would make my own sauce. That's the only difference. So um, now I'm gonna add some cheese. I'll try to add a nice amount because I know everyone. I don't even know why I got the other bag out. Because I'm pretty sure this bag will be more than enough for both pizzas. And I'll pro probably still have some left over. before I do the other one and I'll show that in a minute. So now I'm going to work on the pineapple and pepperoni one. So same thing. Um, Slices, but whatever. Just add in some pineapple.
Okay, so I have the pineapple here and the pepperoni over here. And so 450 degree preheated oven and this crust is supposed to bake in eight minutes. That's what it says. So I'm gonna put these in, set my timer for eight minutes and I'll be back in eight. So I just took it out. And then I'm just gonna add some um, garlic butter on the crust. I'm not gonna show it because I already, I already have a video showing how I make that. And then after I put the garlic butter on, I'm just gonna put it back in an additional two minutes. with the garlic butter. All right, and that's the pineapple. Then I'll just take some slices off and put them on the plate.